Hey there, eco enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel Kot Sahang. Today, let's take a deep dive into the annals of history as we uncover the ancient roots of recycling, exploring the timeless wisdom that continues to shape our sustainable future. Approximately 130 years ago, during the surge of industrialization, the notion of recycling was far from people's minds. Back then, much like today, the primary concern was the swift disposal of waste. In 1891, on German soil in Munich, the first paid waste collection service was introduced, featuring the infamous Harit Schwagen. This horse-drawn wagon, eerily resembling a coffin in its structure, played a pivotal role in carrying waste outside the city gates, out of sight out of mind. A practice that endured until 1945. Yet, recycling practices had a much earlier origin. In eras gone by, individuals took personal responsibility for waste disposal, showcasing resourcefulness in dealing with their refuse. Consider the Middle Ages, where the initial practice was to toss everything out of windows. However, for certain items like rags, glass, and metal, resourceful recyclers gathered the so-called rubbish, breathing new life into it. Rags, for instance, underwent a remarkable transformation into pristine new paper. Whatever remained was either consumed by pigs or washed away by the rain. Ancient Rome followed a similar trajectory. Waste was initially discarded. But recycling emerged as a trend. As sewage accumulated, muck contractors stepped in, transporting it beyond the city walls to farmers, who gladly purchased it as fertilizer. The Romans even repurposed old clay vessels into an early form of a sewage system. In case of breakage, the remnants conveniently stayed within the city, forming a designated landfill. The Monte Testaccio, now one of Rome's prominent hills, stands as a testament to ancient waste separation, likely the earliest in history. Nevertheless, everything else was still removed from the city and buried in pits, where remnants, including the unexpected like dead animals and even humans, victims of gladiator fights, were disposed of. Going back further in time to the Stone Age, humans encountered the concept of waste. Interestingly, most waste during this period was not truly wasted, but rather recycled. Broken weapons and spears found new life as smaller arrowheads, while torn clothing was ingeniously repurposed. The rest naturally decomposed in pits, leaving behind a sustainable footprint. And with that, we conclude our enlightening journey through history. If you found it engaging, give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow eco-warriors. Don't forget to subscribe for more profound insights. Until next time, stay curious, stay green.